hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if it is your first time watching you are so very welcome so today we're going to do a transformation on this face <laughs> yeah so kindly subscribe share your thoughts in the comment section down below i'll be reading all of them come up and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and with no further ado let us just go straight into the video okay guys so first things first i'm going to line my brows using davis eye pencil number three Okay, so to clean my brows, I'm using Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn, following the exact shape of my brows. So I normally do this just to give uh, my brows a little bit of shape. For my eyelids, first off I'm going to set and I'm using Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade phone, the same one I used to clean my brows. Okay, so our, the first shade we're going for is this dark brown from Morphe. It's somewhere to, just so you know. But to blend our first shade, we're going for that orangey from uh, Cara Beauty. So as always, uh, <laughs> kindly blend using circular motions, using very, very little force for you to blend smoothly. So next I'm going to intensify the area around my cut crease and I'm going to use the shade Smoky from uh, Joanna K Cosmetics. So all that I'm going to draw our cut crease and I am using illegal <laughs> pro concealer the same one I have used to line my brows and uh, set my eyelids for my cut crease I'm going to use this goldish look from Cara Beauty I started off with white from Morphe just to brighten my inner corner a little bit then I applied the goldish look so next I'm going to blend in my the edges of my cut crease because I love my transition all smooth. I don't like harsh lines at all, at all, at all. So I'm going to blend in the edges so the transition looks as smooth as possible. So the lashes I'm going to use today are from Golden Lip and look at the packaging of these lashes, I mean love 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 them okay so finally let's move on to the face except these lashes are so dramatic yeah anyway for moisturizing i'm going to use vaseline and i'm going to prime my face using Rimmel stay matte primer foundation I'm using Maybelline Superstay in Warm Coconut, that is shade 356. To highlight, I used Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn and I'm going to highlight the areas around my under eye, nose, around my mouth because I normally have a beard area around that area and my forehead. So 
So if you don't have a setting powder, you can normally use a lighter finishing powder to the areas where you highlighted. Contour today I'm using the shade, uh, <laughs> what was it? Chocolate from Joanna K Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. Because today I wanted my highlighter to pop, I used eyeshadow, Urban Decay eyeshadow. <laughs> I used one shade from Urban Decay. Yeah. I came to discover if you want your face to look structured, highlight just above the area where you contoured. That way you look like you have some structure going on, you have cheekbones, although your face is as round as a balloon. You look amazing. And finally, for a lipstick, I'm going to use my Balance Superstay in this shade. I've been eyeing this shade for like forever. So I decided to mix the lipsticks. I wanted to go for a ombre look and I used a Joanna K Cosmetics in the shade basically to spice it up, okay? And that would be it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you like this final look because I love, love, love it. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you on my next video. So if you have sorry if you have not yet subscribed kindly do so and uh, from me that would be all bye